guys will be amazed by this place. This is the last day of the road trip and this is the last spot we're filming. And this is a great way to end the road trip because this place is really relaxing and it feels very, very peaceful inside. Anyway, if you're new around here, my name is Steve Rowan. I'm going to Epic Adventures every single week. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification button bell. Anyway, the place that we're exploring today is an abandoned villa that was owned by a wealthy Italian family in the farm industry. They lived here since the early 1900s. The last date we can find was from the mid 2000s, 2010 or 2012. So we believe this is when the place was abandoned. The whole reason behind it is because of too much tax that the family owed to the government. We're going to be finding a lot of evidence for that. There's so many tax documents that we'll be seeing. The family did eventually pay off the tax, but by then, you know, they didn't have enough money to afford all of this anymore. And eventually they moved out and just left the place abandoned. So I think they're still alive till this day. Now we're here on the second floor. I think this is where I'm going to start off because downstairs is definitely the best and I'm saving the best for last. I'm ready to explore the place though and show you guys around. We're also going to be taking a lot of photos. This place is so cool for that. But before we do, smash the thumbs up button. So this was the main hall of the second floor. There's a lot of medicine over here. Now this is really interesting. But I have a feeling this was probably some sort of inhaler. Right over here is a picture frame. Four bedrooms total on the second floor. I don't know where to begin, but let's go here, I guess. Everything is really neatly arranged. We also have a lot of things left behind right here on the drawer. Wow, we have some Julia left behind too. This is awesome. I think this is a, a haircut kit. Speaking of which, I really need a haircut. Oh, I just killed a f mosquito. Oh. Man, if you've been following the road trip, the mosquitoes here have been so bad. Well, I'm starting to think that these rooms weren't just for the servants anymore. I actually think they belong to the family. Seems like they had a lot of kids. This is the second baby stroller I've seen. Keep finding photos of these two individuals everywhere. So we're making our way through to the next room on the opposite end. Wow, this is also arranged really nice. To be honest, I think this is the most neatly arranged abandoned villa from the late 1900s that I've ever explored. Uh, we even still have a wallet right here. Nothing in it. Wow, this is actually not too old. I remember having one of those. Alright guys, so as I'm walking, making my way to this room, I look at this window and it's a giant Watts nest. Holy crap. Oh my god. Jeez. I'm gonna film this room really quick. That's one thing I hate are wasps. This is a big bedroom. <clears throat> no way. You got medicine here and their dentures. It's just right there. We have some old family letters scattered around the bed. I'm a little bit sketched up by these floors. I don't want to be walking all around. Because I know how dangerous these old floors can be. 
especially in the bedrooms where the beds are just really heavy. Usually this is the first place of a band buildings that cave in. This room just holds a lot of stuff. Take a look at that. It's a seashell lamp. That cabinet is calling my name. There's so much on it. Wow. This just shows probably all the members of the family that once lived here. We gotta go check out this room. I wonder if I just walk calmly, they'll leave me alone. I've never been stung before, so I don't know if I'm allergic or not. Okay, let's just do this quick. <clears throat> Alright, I think we just made it out of harm's way from those wasps. And I think it was worth it. This is a pretty neat bedroom. It looks like more of a, a guy that used to stay here. Probably this dude, right there. Wow, his coat is just left here and his hat. And I'm not sure what this was, but I've seen it before in, in a lot of the band places in Europe. All right, so we've seen everything here on the second floor. It's time we head downstairs. Well, I didn't notice this, but there's also a third floor. I can't believe I didn't check this one out. But there's really not much. And it's very dangerous. I don't even want to step through here. It's not worth the risk. This room over here looks safe. But, yeah, it's just a huge pile of junk. Wow, this is really neat. So it looks like we just entered the attic, but it was more so for like tools. For wealthy farmers, that's how they made their fortune. So these are some of the equipment that they would use. There's always a room for wine if you're European. Oh my God. I did not expect to find something creepy in here. Who the heck put that there? These must have been work boots for the farmers. And right over here is the tallest chair in the world. Over here in the cabinet, we have some really old photos. Older than the ones I've seen from downstairs on the second floor. What the heck? I'm so glad I came up here. This room is sick. And this is probably my favorite room so far to take a photo. A lot of the rooms don't have natural lighting in here. This is like the only one. So we're gonna take a snapshot right now. Check out this frame. They really look fancy and posh. You can tell they were rich. So we're making our way downstairs to the first floor. This floor is gonna blow your mind. Like I said, I'm saying the best for last. You guys will enjoy this a lot. Anyway, we're almost done with this video and this is really sad too because this is the last video of the Italian series and this ends the road trip right after this. I really hope you guys have been enjoying it so far. If you haven't, check it out. The playlist is right here. Yeah, it's been amazing two to three weeks of exploration. It really felt like time went by so fast though. It's crazy. It just feels like maybe a few days ago we just started the trip. Let's check out this room first. 
This kitchen still smells like it was being used. Oh my gosh, I just noticed the calendar right here. And it ends on October 2015. I was almost right. This is roughly the time when it got abandoned. This is really old school, but it's also typical Italian. Everyone knows Italians are famous for like their brick ovens. They probably made a lot of good pizza with this one. Look how big it is. Well, we have a family photo again. This looks like it could have been the same room. And what's nice is that this photo is like colored. It's not black or white. Okay, over here though is the main hall. There's my backpack, I just left it there. And right over here was the entrance to the villa. Yeah, it was really nice. It was also like a dining room too. And we could just imagine how many people used to stay and live here because there's so many chairs. I mean, we already explored a lot of bedrooms. So I think maybe 10 people would just live here. And we have a few things here on the table. We have some documents and some photos. This guy looks different. He's not a familiar face. But I think this might have been even the son. Because the upstairs photos, it looks like they could have been like the grandparents. And over here too, I'm not really going to show it off. Because these are very personal, but these are more tax documents. They had a really beautiful family. Now I want to show you guys the design in this hall. It's really, really beautiful. And I love the ceiling. Over here, we have another room. Everything is still completely here. I didn't even notice it, but we have a piece of a gun right here. Classroom photo. Check out the cobwebs. There's so much. I'm always having to dodge them because there's still spiders that are alive. Usually they're dead in abandoned buildings, but no, no over here. Hmm. This room looks like a tiny office with a bed. This. It says importante, so it must be important. Cabinet is holding a lot of wine. Some of them are even still closed. Not only that, but they use this room for laundry. The clothes over there are still even hung up. Right on the opposite side is another room. There's so many rooms in here, but this room is probably one of my favorites because everything is just so pristine and left behind. Really, really clean. Plus, there's a cat right there on the chair. I'm just kidding. It's not an actual cat, but I gotta admit, the moment I walked in here, I thought it was real for a second. And right on the counter over here are more photos of the family that once lived here. Guys, we just found a pistol. I think it's fake though, it looks like it's made of plastic. The counter also gave us a little bit of hints, like this piece of paper. It has the years 1954 and 1955 written on it. Check it out. Another photo. And these papers look like bills. This one says 1955.
This cabinet right here is really, really nice. We just love to have this inside your home. I love how there's a mirror also right here. Uh, and the TV sets just right there. And the cupboard too. Filled with hundreds of cups. This piece of document also looks very and very important. And over here it even says 20,000 in total. Uh, no, and I think the currency back then was like Italian euros. And with inflation around, this, around the time, this must have been a lot of money. Well, I'm packed up and ready to go. We've pretty much seen the entire villa. Yeah, this is a great way to end the Italian series. I think this place was just super calm and peaceful and it's been a nice and relaxing day. After this, I'm gonna be heading to Malaga, Spain. Not specifically for exploring, although I think I'll hit up a couple spots. It's mainly just to relax and just have a good time and kind of recover from this three week adventure. And it's already August 21st. I'm hoping that I release all of the Italian series by the end of August. So I'm gonna use the time in Malaga to just relax and edit all the videos or hopefully mid-September because that's when I'm gonna be doing another trip and another series. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, ending the video now. Thank you so much for the support. If you do wish to support the channel even more, definitely check out the Patreon page where you can earn some perks as a Patreon supporter. It means a lot of you support the channel. You know, this, these entire trips are funded by me specifically. So thank you so much for making it this far towards the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Leave your comments and thoughts down below and share the video. Hope you guys live a life of freedom and water, and I'll see you all in the next adventure. Peace. Thank you.